so you probably see bugs around your pool all the time. Bees, mosquitoes, and dragonflies, oh my. These types of bugs can be a bit of a nuisance, but they're not nearly as bad as water bugs, and they're not as gross. So how do you get rid of water bugs and prevent them from invading your pool in the first place? Well, the key is to make your pool totally inhospitable to these bugs, and I'm gonna explain exactly how to do that right now. Okay, quick disclaimer, everyone has their own way to maintain a pool, but in the end, our goal is to just help you. And the information in this video is based on my personal experience in the pool industry and the research we've done here at swimuniversity.com. If I missed anything, don't let that bug you. Please leave a comment and let me know, and it'll also help your fellow pool owners. You see what I did there? Pun definitely intended. There are two main types of water bugs you can get in your pool, water boatmen and back swimmers. They look a lot alike, but they have a few important differences, and getting rid of one will actually help you get rid of the other. Okay, first, let's talk about water boatmen. Nope, that's not what I mean. That's the skipper from Gilligan's Island. Nope, that's that's Gilligan from Gilligan's Island. No, water boatmen are oval-shaped bugs that are about a half of an inch long and are usually brown or greenish brown. Their back legs are longer than their other legs with fringed hairs that help them float and paddle around, which is how they get their name. They also have wings and they fly. As if you weren't freaked out enough by some big scary bug floating around your pool, they also fly. But water boatmen actually have a few good qualities. They eat mosquito larvae and they don't bite. They also eat algae, which is probably why they're in your pool. Even if you can't actually see the algae yet, water boatmen would not be hanging around your pool if it weren't for algae for them to eat. And by the way, they do lay their eggs in algae too. So if you swim in your pool while water boatmen are in it, you're also swimming in algae and bug eggs. So to get rid of any boatmen you have in your pool and any baby water bugs that might hatch, you have to get rid of algae. So first, get the water bugs out of your pool. And you can do this with a simple leaf skimmer. And just remember when you do this, they may fly away. They have wings. I say that because it might freak you out when you see it for the first time. The question is, should you kill them? You might see some advice out there about dunking them in a bucket full of water and oil, which suffocates them, but that is kind of harsh. And now you have a bucket of water and oil and dead bugs to get rid of. No, nah, thank you. Remember, they eat mosquito larvae, so they can actually be good for your backyard environment. And you might wanna just relocate them to another part of your yard. Now, once the bugs are out, you need to vacuum the pool. You actually need to manually vacuum the pool and not use your automatic pool cleaner to make sure that you pick up as much sediment and debris as possible from the water and the pool surfaces. Now, remember to vacuum to waste, to keep the dirty water from going right back into your pool. You can watch our video on how to vacuum a pool for more details. Next, you need to brush the pool. For this, I highly recommend you get a stainless steel algae brush instead of the nylon bristles, unless, of course, you have a vinyl liner pool, which in that case, you're just gonna have to use nylon bristles and some elbow grease. Now, before you start killing algae, you need to test the water to make sure that the pH and the alkalinity levels are where they're supposed to be, which is between 7.4 and 7.6 for pH and 100 and 150 parts per million for alkalinity. The only thing that's gonna kill algae is chlorine shock and lots of it. Normally you use about one pound of shock per 10,000 gallons of water. Now for a light algae problem though, you may need to double the dose. In fact, I would absolutely double the dose. If your water is even darker green, like not teal, you wanna triple the dose and if you have yellow algae or black algae or your pool just looks like the creature from the Black Lagoon, you may want to quadruple shock your pool. We have an article and a video on our channel all about how to shock a pool properly, and I recommend that you check that out before shocking your pool if you don't already know how to do it. Now, to keep water boatmen from coming back, you just need to keep your pool clean and shock it on a regular basis, and you need to make sure that your sanitizer level stays consistent. If you prevent algae, you also prevent water boatmen. They won't stay there if there's nothing to eat, which is algae. Now real quick, before we talk about another type of pool bug, if you wanna learn more about taking care of your pool with in-depth tutorials and guides, you should check out the Pool Care Handbook and video course. You'll get over 31 video lessons, plus a fully illustrated guide covering everything you need to know about taking care of your pool, and it is packed with money-saving tips so you don't have to break the bank on your swimming pool. This is 
the ultimate manual for every type of pool, and we always keep it up to date. Now, because you watch this entire video, you can get 10% off by using the promo code video. Just go to swimuniversity.com slash pool dash care dash handbook or click the link below. Okay, so what about the second type of water bug I mentioned? They are called back swimmers, and here's where things get a little hairy. So back swimmers are often mistaken for water boatmen because they look alike, but there are two key differences. One, back swimmers swim on their back, which is why they're called back swimmers. Yeah. But the other thing is they bite, and the bite is nasty. It kind of feels like a bee sting. So you definitely want these friggin' jerks out of your pool. So why do you have back swimmers in your pool in the first place? Well, it's because you have water boatmen in your pool. Back swimmers are predators and they eat other bugs, especially water boatmen. You see, they don't eat algae, although they do lay their eggs in it just like water boatmen, so gross. So in order to get rid of back swimmers, you need to get rid of water boatmen, and to get rid of water boatmen, you need to get rid of algae. So it all comes down to keeping your pool clean and keeping your algae under control. Do those things, and you shouldn't have to worry about any water bug invasions. That said, if I missed anything, or you have any more questions about water bugs in your pool, please leave a comment. And if you wanna learn more about all kinds of pool maintenance and troubleshooting and even taking care of a hot tub, subscribe to our channel or visit swimuniversity.com. That's it. And as always, happy swimming.